On August the 25th, 1997, at 11.28pm, NYPD officer Ralph Doles was shot five times in a mob-ordered execution. He would die in surgery the next day. But why was the decorated officer targeted? And who ordered the hit? Let's check it out. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the murder of NYPD officer Ralph Doles and the involvement of powerful members of the Colombo crime family. On the night of his murder, Ralph Doles had just pulled up outside his apartment just before half past 11. He stepped out of his Oldsmobile Cutlass and was approached by two men who were unknown to him. Officer Doles turned to the men and said, What's up? Before he was shot multiple times by his assailants. Doles didn't die immediately and was rushed to Coney Island Hospital. Before Ralph Doles went into surgery, he was briefly quizzed by a detective regarding who shot him. The detective would write in his report, When asked what race the perpetrators were, Doles said, White males. Asked how many, he said three. And he was able to utter caprice and dark to describe the getaway car. The detective asked Doles several more questions, but due to the extent of his injuries, he was unresponsive. The detective wrote, At this time, the witness was unable to speak and closed his eyes as they prepped him for surgery. Unfortunately, Officer Ralph Doles would die some time later after surgery the next day. So, who shot Ralph Doles? And who ordered the hit and why? Initially, the authorities believed that a Russian criminal organisation was responsible. Within hours of Ralph Doles shooting, a confidential informer told the police that a Russian hoodlum had killed Doles because the cop was putting pressure on his drug dealing operation. A report even stated that Doles had had the Russian thug arrested a few weeks before his murder. However, the police would state that there was one man's name that was always in the mix as a suspect. This was powerful Colombo crime family mobster, Joel Joe Waverly Cacace. The traditional Italian pronunciation of his surname would be Cacace, but I am reliably informed by those who know him that the surname has been Americanized and is now pronounced Cacace. Joel Joe Waverly Cacace was known as a fearsome gangster with a tough reputation, and he had once survived a shootout with Greg Scarpa in the Third Colombo War. And years before, in December 1976, three men tried to kidnap Joe Waverley. They put him in the back of a car at gunpoint, but Joe Waverley fought back. He wrestled the gun off the kidnapper next to him, shot him dead, and also shot the driver, causing the car to crash but not before receiving several shots himself. The other kidnappers, evidently realising they'd bitten off more than they could chew, ran off, and Joe Waverley jumped in the front seat of the car and with the dead assailant in the back, drove to Coney Island Police Station so he could get his own bullet wounds taken care of. And so, by 1997, the year of Ralph Doll's shooting, Joe Waverley was a real force in the Colombo crime family. And in fact, only five years later in 2002, imprisoned family boss Carmine Persico would elevate Joe Waverley to the position of acting boss of the crime family. But what was the connection between Joe Waverley and Ralph Doles? We'll come to that in a bit. First, let's check out the identities of Ralph Doles' shooters. In 2008, Colombo crime family captain Dino Calabro was charged with his involvement in several homicides, including that of Officer Ralph Doles. The information on Calabro's participation in a handful of murders came from Colombo soldier turned informer Joseph Compitello. The authorities were able to link Dino Calabro to four murders, and it didn't take long for the Colombo mobster to turn informer. 
Eventually, Dino Calabro admitted to eight murders, including being the shooter of powerful Colombo underboss, William Wild Bill Cutolo. But I'll come to that in a future video. In a 2012 trial, Dino Big Dino Calabro would testify against his cousin, Dino Little Dino Saracino, and his mentor and powerful Colombo mobster, Thomas Tommy Shots Gielli. Dino Calabro testified that he and little Dino Saracino had been staking out dolls in his apartment for weeks. And in fact, Calabro and Saracino had planned to kill dolls a week and a half before they actually succeeded. However, dolls had got away when Saracino and Calabro had got stuck at a red light whilst they were tailing him. But sadly, on August 25th, 1997, NYPD officer Ralph Dole's luck ran out. On this night, Big Dino Calabro and Little Dino Saracino had followed Dole's back to his home. Calabro recalled, He pulled to the right where he lives. I pulled off the left. Me and Dino jumped out. He said, What's up? We shot him multiple times. When we shot him, he fell back. I shot him. I shot him with my cousin Dino. Calabro would go on to explain the further mechanics of the mob hit. He would testify that three cars had been used in the setup and execution of the hit on Officer Ralph Doles. They used a stolen Chevy Caprice as the kill car, the vehicle that carried himself and Saracino, the shooters. There was also a crash car driven by lookout man Joseph Joey Caves Compitello. He was ready to stop any police cars responding to the shooting. And finally, a clean car. This was to be used for the getaway after ditching the kill car. Dino Calabro would go on to say, We stole a car, we waited there, and we ended up shooting him. We used scanners, we used walkie-talkies, we used gloves, we used baseball caps. For the shooting, Big Dino stated that he had a 44 caliber Magnum revolver and that Little Dino had a 45 caliber semi-automatic. Dino Calabro also claimed that he and Little Dino had no idea that Ralph Doles was a police officer. When he was given the order by Tommy Schotts, Calabro states that he was never given any information that Ralph Doles was a police officer. Calabro testified, Tommy told me he was a Mexican who worked in a Queen's social club. We don't kill police officers. That's just a rule in the mafia. You don't kill kids. You don't kill cops. Big Dino said that Tommy Shots Gielli had told him that the order to kill dolls had come from fearsome Colombo mobster, Joel Joe Waverly Cacase. Calabro even stated that he was so enraged about being screwed over by Joe Waverly, who had had him unknowingly kill a police officer, that he asked Tommy Schotts if they should kill him. So, this brings us back to the question, why would powerful Colombo crime family mobster Joe Waverly want to have Officer Ralph Doles murdered? By all accounts, it was over a matter of personal pride. Joe Waverly's ex-wife, Kim Kenner had recently married Officer Ralph Doles. Interestingly, Kim Kenner had previously been married to Eddie Carini, a mob associate who, along with his brother, had been killed in a double homicide. Many believed that this murder had been ordered by Joe Waverley, who was covering his tracks regarding the killing of Judge Aronwald. Waverley would then go on to marry Karini's widow, Kim. After Joe Waverley and Kim Kunner had separated, she would eventually go on to marry Ralph Doles. The fact that Ralph Doles was of Hispanic heritage and also a police officer didn't sit well with Joe Waverley, who felt that the whole thing was a slap in the face. The disrespected Joe Waverley then sentenced Ralph Doles to death. Interestingly, Tommy Schotts Gielli 
was cleared of his involvement in the murder in a 2012 trial, but was found guilty of his involvement in two other killings. He was sentenced to 18 years and 8 months on March 19, 2014. His projected release date is in 2024. As for Joe Waverley, he went on trial in 2014 for his involvement in Ralph Dole's murder. By this time, he was already 10 years into a 20-year sentence for racketeering and murder. However, he was eventually also cleared of being responsible for ordering the Ralph Dole's hit, as the prosecution couldn't provide any solid evidence to suggest his motive and that Dino Calabro had not received the order directly from the powerful Colombo figure. Joel Joe Waverley Cacase was released from prison in May 2020, after serving around 16 years. Some sources touted him as a potential candidate for the position of family boss after the death of Carmine Persico. But his current status within the Colombo crime family is unknown. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.